नमस्ते लेट इज डिस्कस जनरल मेथड्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन गैस इन दैट वेरी फर्स्ट मेथड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो दैट इज बाय एक्शन ऑफ वाटर ऑन मेटल्स फ्रॉम एक्टिविटी सीरीज बाय एक्शन ऑफ वाटर ऑन मेटल्स नाउ इन दैट वेरी फर्स्ट वी हैव एक्शन ऑफ कोल्ड वाटर एक्शन ऑफ कोल्ड वाटर now we have metals which are present at the top of the series like sodium potassium calcium now all these metals they react very violently with cold water so this metal react with cold water and results in formation of corresponding metal hydroxide and evolves hydrogen gas and evolves hydrogen gas but it seem that potassium and sodium these are the two metals which are present at the top of the series they react very violently with water they react very violently with water that's the reason these metals are not used to prepare hydrogen gas in laboratory because of their reactive nature but calcium amongst this metal which is found to react with water little bit smoothly as well as the reaction is found to be less violent as compared to what is reaction we see with potassium and sodium so let me write down the reactions of potassium sodium calcium with cold water with cold water this metals will react with cold water so i have potassium metal reacts with water okay that's in liquid state potassium metal is in solid state gives me potassium hydroxide which we call it as in caustic potash which we call it as in caustic potash and it was hydrogen gas and it was hydrogen gas so post uh, you have potassium hydroxide will be present as an aqueous solution that's what we call it as an alkali okay so in order to balance this i'll multiply here by 2 here by 2 and here by 2 then let me take another metal that sodium which is present below potassium in the reactivity series so i have sodium metal which is in solid state react with water which is in liquid state in order to give me potassium hydroxide which we call it as in caustic soda okay in aqueous state and it was hydrogen gas it was hydrogen gas so here in order to balance this i'll multiply by 2 sodium 2 water and 2 naoh so koh i call it as an caustic potash as a commonly otherwise i call it as in potassium hydroxide naoh i call it as in caustic soda now both are basically alkali that is water soluble base now i have a calcium metal which is in solid state reacts with water which is in liquid state in order to give me corresponding calcium hydroxide okay as an aqueous state and evolves hydrogen gas now this calcium hydroxide we call it as an slake lime which is called as commonly slaked lime is commonly known as slake lime now generally first two metals that is potassium and sodium they are very violent to react with hydrogen that means reaction is very violent and it was hydrogen gas calcium to some extent reacts little bit less violently so these are the three three metals which reacts with cold water now let us take the action of steam the action of steam so we have certain less reactive metal like magnesium aluminum zinc and iron now when this metals have been made red hot when this metals have been made red hot and then reacted with steam so what will happen this metal generally forms a metallic oxide this metals will generally form metallic oxide do remember in earlier case we were getting metallic hydroxides 
here I am getting metallic oxide and once again evolution of hydrogen gas is there in this case. Now a point to note here the iron metal in this will react with steam but the reaction is found to be reversible. So point to note here iron metal reacts with steam but the reaction is reversible. So if you do not remove the hydrogen then what will happen what is the oxide which has been formed will undergo reduction in order to give you metal and steam back in order to give you metal and steam back so we need to remove the hydrogen as soon as it is formed otherwise the reaction is reversible in order to prevent that reversible reaction we can remove the hydrogen as soon as it has been formed now generally what happens whenever the reaction takes place the reaction starts but after some time, you will observe that the reaction comes to stop or becomes slow. The reason behind the metals like magnesium, aluminium, zinc. Now this metal, when they combine with steam, they result in formation of oxide and the oxide layer is being formed on its surface. So after some time, what will happen because of the formation of oxide? The metal layer gets covered with the oxide so it doesn't come in contact with the steam more frequently so after some time the reaction will come to an end or reaction generally stops because of the formation of oxide because of the formation of oxide so let me take the example here i have the elements which are present here that's magnesium aluminium zinc they need to form an oxide so let me take a magnesium metal which is formed in solid state react with steam so water will be in now gaseous state because it's a steam so as to give me mgo that is magnesium oxide in a solid state plus hydrogen gas is evolved hydrogen gas is evolved then i'm having aluminium metal then i'm having aluminium metal which is in solid state red hot react with steam in order to give me aluminium oxide Al2O3 which is found in solid state and evolves hydrogen gas and evolves hydrogen gas. So to balance this I will multiply here by 3 oxygen is there so I will multiply here by 3. Now 3 to the 6 the equation got balanced now Al2O3 okay then I am having zinc metal in solid state react with steam react with steam in order to give me corresponding zinc oxide which is in solid state and evolves hydrogen gas and evolves hydrogen gas now the point to note i have iron metal i have iron metal which is found in solid state react with steam okay in order to give me fe3o4 this is called as triferic tetroxide triferic tetroxide and evolves hydrogen gas and evolves hydrogen gas so to balance this i'll multiply here by three here by four and here by four but as a point to note there we have mentioned earlier this reaction is reversible in nature this reaction is reversible in nature so i'll show a double headed arrow i'll show double headed arrow now the metals which are present below iron in activity series like lead and metal below lead do not displace hydrogen from either boiling water or steam so below lead we do not have this reaction possible so we don't write that because lead and below lead metals do not displace hydrogen from any of the acid any of the 
water like boiling water also there or you may react with steam you don't see any kind of change takes place okay so in this video we covered with the reaction the general method of preparation of hydrogen gas by action of water on metal from activity series hope you must have understood thank you for watching